Hello, everybody. It's late, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this book here, because I'm doing a buddy read of this, um, Whores for Gloria by William T. Volman, with Greg at another Bibliophile Reads. Um, he recommended this. I had it on my bookshelf and never looked at it, so I'm like, yeah, let's do that thing. So I finished it. It's a quick read, but I don't know what I think of it, and I'm going to need to sleep on it because I just don't know, and I don't really know. What, like, what, I could give you little brief things. Like, I could show you my favorite line in it. It's in chapter 8. It says, For we all must build our worlds around us, bravely or dreamily. As long as we can, we shelter ourselves from the rain, walling ourselves in gorgeously. And I really liked that. This book is sectioned off in some really tiny chapters some bigger chapters with, that don't have paragraph breaks or anything okay and then others that go really quick you know and like here's three sections on one page it's a interesting book it's about this guy who sleeps with prostitutes <clears throat> in the Tenderloin district of San Francisco and pretty early on you realize that the prostitutes he is engaging with are transvestites and the thing about the book that I like is the normalcy, let's say. The normalcy in which he writes of these characters. Um, it is very matter of fact. It is like, like these are all like junkies and prostitutes and drunks. And he writes them with more class than I think most people would write about people like that. And I like that. I don't like his run-on sentences that just go on forever. Him not ever wanting to use a comma. And he definitely doesn't use um, quotations. Like, you'll have, like, a wall of text like this. And it's like... Um, Huey shouted code six and blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's no, um, like, quotations. There's no commas. It's just, like, whenever somebody talks, it's, like, just, uh, like, words happening. Like, any kind of syntax is gone. Talk more about this again when I wake up, but I'm going to cut. If you don't want spoilers for this book, stop now. And maybe I'll put a timestamp in when it's safe to come back. Anyway, so the way this book ends, like, as the book goes, we realize that our main character, Jimmy, is a completely unreliable narrator. And he's searching for Gloria, who, in the beginning, you think is, like, an ex-girlfriend. And then as the book goes, like, she might not even be real then you think maybe she might even be Jimmy and um, all this shit. And then this is the part that I don't like. She appears and then is gone. And there was all this buildup. The whole book builds up to when he finally sees her again. And it was such a flash in the pan and then taken away that I feel like that is a fault of the book. 
because then the rest of the search for her, like after that, there's even a part where he seems like he doesn't care anymore if he finds her or not, but then he finds her. It makes the whole thing really lackluster. And if that was the idea, congratulations. You nailed having a lackluster second entrance. The second entrance is always going to be lackluster. Always. So the first entrance, that needs to pop. That always needs to pop. If you fuck that up, the next time out isn't going to be as good. It's not going to be as good anyway, but if you fuck it up, it's going to be even less. So there's that. Then I was thinking, like, is he even fucking real at all? Are any of these people real? Well, that's a stupid fucking thing to think. Like, who would write an entire book of a bunch of fictional characters? I'm like, oh, everybody does that. But in the sense of the book, in the world of the book, are any of these people even fucking real? That's a question. And then the last chapter... The last chapter, well, the last line of the second to last chapter makes you think that maybe it's not Jimmy who's not real, but maybe it's Code 6 who's not real, which is weird. But then in the last chapter, this character named Riley shows up. And fucks everything up. The existence of Riley kind of makes everything in this book not work. To a logical end. So my other thought would be here... Um, well, because like my thought was with the quotes, there's no quotes on anything anyone says because no one actually ever said anything. That was my first inclination. But I don't know anything else by him. So if he just doesn't use quotes at all when he writes, um, then that doesn't matter. But if it's just in this book, that would be interesting. But the other thing that came to me was he's constantly searching for stories from these prostitutes. And when he gets these stories, he turns them kind of into his own and uses them as like the backstory about him and Gloria. Knowing that some of these stories have to be changed because Gloria doesn't like him. If this is the case and Code 6 is a big of a fucking piece of shit as he seems to be does code six change Jimmy's fate to make it more palatable for him and to be able to hoo talk to his military buddy um, in this sense but then Riley says he banged Gloria so it just, it makes all of this not coherent. Like, no angle of this story makes sense. Unless the whole purpose of this is that no story in this connection of stories can possibly make sense because everybody in that world lies a bunch to protect themselves and protect their past and protect their futures, I guess. So it's all just bullshit. So it doesn't even fucking matter. Now, if that's the case, yes, I got taken on a fun little journey. Kind of gross at times. Kind of interesting at times. But this is why I don't fucking like reading novels anymore. And this is barely a novel. It's like, what, 138 pages or something like that? Because you give so much of yourself over. You're trusting that the author is not going to try to fuck you. 
and you trust them and they take you on this journey. But the whole idea of an author, a writer, a creator, a god. Okay, are you following me here? When a writer creates a world and creates this whole fucking thing, they are the god of that domain. They are the religion for the fictional people in the world because they have this now Calvinistic view of their characters that they create everything that's going to happen and I know the beginning, the middle, and the end and you characters are just going to do the things that I have already set into motion for you and there's nothing you can do about it so with this said when a writer gets this in them and then um, starts writing a book. They are the god of the people, but now they could also become a sort of god to the reader because the reader is giving themselves over to this author for this period of time that it takes them to read this book. They are cashing in full, wholeheartedly, okay, you're in control. What are you going to make me do here? Like, I have to read about all these fucking people. Don't let me fucking down. Okay? And I feel that for a lot of people, especially people who have control issues, this is an amazing feeling. And I will say, for Stephen King as an example... I feel like the reason why Stephen King's books are so long and his endings are so shit is because he doesn't ever want this feeling to end. He likes knowing that he is the god over the people who read his books. He is the god over the characters in his books. Do you see what's happening here? I haven't even had anything to drink yet. And I'm getting fucking weird. So I'm going to... I'm going to think about this and I will come back in the morning and talk a little bit more about it. And I also need to message Greg and see what he thinks about all this. So I will see you in the morning. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.